This video is on the cost of electricity. Uh, fairly straightforward as long as you're careful. So we need to know the factors affecting the cost of running an appliance. We need to know about the units. This is the crucial thing really in this video. Units that we use for buying electricity. And we need to know how to calculate the cost. Sometimes the units are a little bit tricky. That's really the only reason we have to be careful on this. So this is an equation you should have seen before. The energy something uses is the power times the time. And when you buy electricity, you're really buying energy. So the amount you need to pay to, for an appliance depends on how much power it uses. So things like toasters and kettles that use high power will cost you a lot more to run than um, things like light bulbs. But also the time it's on. So overall, you probably spend more money on the lighting in your house than you do on the kettle, right? because the lights are on for a lot longer. Units, as I said, are the key thing. So there are units that we buy electricity in called kilowatt hours. K, little k for kilo, W for watts, little h for hours. Okay, and you might wonder why we use those units because we've already got a unit for energy. We use the joule for energy in physics normally. Okay, well, a kilowatt hour, which sometimes we just call a unit rather confusingly in electricity, is the energy used if you use something that uses a kilowatt of power for an hour. And you might say, well, why do we bother doing that? We have this equation already energy in joules, power in watts, time in seconds. Okay, well the reason is, let's take an example, if we had a 3 kilowatt fire and you had it on for 6 hours, if we wanted to work that out in joules, we'd do that equation with these units, but if we wanted to do it in kilowatt hours, we could do the equation with these units, so energy in kilowatt hours instead of joules, power in kilowatts instead of watts, time in hours instead of seconds. Let's look at what that does to the numbers. Well, the power in watts, this is 3 kilowatts, so that's 3,000 watts. So 3 times 1,000 has turned that into kilowatt, uh, sorry, into watts from kilowatts. The time in seconds, we've got 6 hours. Well, 6 hours is 6 times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. You end up with um, 64,800,000 joules. That's just for running a fire for 6 hours. Imagine what your electricity bill would look like after 3 months of using an electric fire and all the other appliances in your home. If we tried to do the same thing in kilowatt hours, the units they actually use for selling you electricity, okay, power in kilowatts, well it's already in kilowatts, it's three, time in hours, it's already in hours six, then all we get is 18 kilowatt hours. So much more straightforward and also much more handleable kind of numbers which we can all relate to. So, you might get on the exams a nice easy calculation where you've got a three kilowatt tumble dryer for two hours. You've already got the power in kilowatts. You've already got the time in hours. So simply all you do is three times two is six. Seven times three is 21. Eight times a half is four. Okay. If they give you one of those, be grateful. Don't try to do anything too clever with it. Just make sure the power's in kilowatts, the time's in hours. Right, But there might be a little bit tricksy with you. They might give you a power that's in watts instead of kilowatts. So you've got to turn the watts into kilowatts. Well, there's a 1,000 watts in a kilowatt. So you divide by a 1,000. 1,200 watts is 1 1.2 kilowatts, for example. So 2,500 watts becomes 2.5 kilowatts for two hours is 5 kilowatt hours. 650, that's less than a 1,000. So it's going to be less than 1 kilowatt. So 0 0.65 times 4, 2.6 kilowatt hours. 2,400 watts is 2.4 kilowatts, 7.2 kilowatt hours. Okay, so not too tricky, just be careful. Slightly harder is if they give you the time in minutes, because obviously it's harder to turn minutes into um, hours than it is to turn kilowatts into watts, or watts into kilowatts. So we've got... Um, Every six minutes is a tenth of an hour. Sometimes they give you a nice easy one. So 30 minutes, hopefully you can see that 30 minutes is 0 0.5 hours. Okay, the trap there, of course, is some people will write that as 0 0.3 hours, but I'm sure if you think about it, you can work out 30 minutes is half an hour. Half is 0 0.5. Uh, 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour, so 0 0.25. And 90 minutes is an hour and a half, 1.5 hours. They don't usually give you very tricky times, like sort of 24 minutes or something, but if they do, what we're doing here is dividing by 60. So 30 divided by 60 is a half. 15 divided by 60 is 0.25. 90 divided by 60 is 1.5. So divided by 60 is your conversion if you need it. Okay, the last little bit then is to work out the cost because once we've worked out the number of units, 
we'll need to know what one unit costs and then again just multiply it so eight kilowatt hours if they cost 11 pence each is going to cost you eight times 11 is 88 pence okay what you don't need to do is to remember the cost of electricity it's different according to who you buy it from at what time of day you buy it, all sorts of things and it certainly might be different by the time you take the exam so they'll always give you a cost per unit on the exam if you need one so don't worry about remembering what a unit of electricity costs just be able to do this calculation if you need it here's our quick little plenary question just to see if you've got it so you could always pause the video here and try it you've got a 400 watt television in your home it uses uh, you leave it on and you sleep for 6 hours 15 minutes your mum finds out and says you're wasting all her money she wants the money back that you've wasted on the electricity how much should you give her? well first step is we've got to turn the watts into kilowatts so it's 0 0.4 kilowatts then we've got to turn our 6 hours 15 minutes into just hours that's 6 and a quarter, 6.25 hours then we've got to multiply those together to work out that this is 2.5 units and then we've got to work out the two and a half units at 11 pence each cost you 27 and a half p they've got rid of half p pieces so just to be nice give her 28p and tell her to stop nagging you